Hello, Where We Are listeners. If you're a longtime fan of this podcast or you're just joining us for the first time today, we want to tell you more about our podcast platform called Spotify for Podcasters. We've been using this platform for over a year and it's been easy to use and new features are added all the time. You can record and edit podcasts from your phone or computer, you don't need anything fancy, and you don't need previous podcast experience. When you hit publish, you will distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify if that's your kind of thing. And with Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. But here's the thing. You can earn money, but it's a free platform. There's no catch. If you're curious or want to see what it's all about, download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. With Brooklinen, you can find everything you need for your home with award-winning sheets, comforters, and all the accessories in between. Our bedroom is just so much more cozy this winter because of Brooklinen. And if you're looking to refresh your home or simply want a bit more cozy in your life this winter, for a limited time, Brooklinen is offering 15% off of comforters. You should take advantage of this great sale. And if you're listening after this sale, visit brooklinen.com today and use code WEAR for $20 off plus free shipping. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com, code WEAR. This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five on January 19th, 2023. Let's begin with scripture we'll read from Mark 2 today. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door, and he preached the word to them. Some men came, bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it, and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some teachers of the law were sitting there, thinking to themselves, Why does this fellow talk like that? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately, Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their hearts. And he said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier, to say to this paralyzed man, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up, take your mat, and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the man, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. He got up, took his mat, and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone, and they praised God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, thanks for listening to the Morning Five today, brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network. The Morning Five is also supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life, which I'm honored to serve as as president and CEO of that organization. You could learn more about the Center for Christianity and Public Life at ccpubliclife.org. All right, let's get to the news this morning. Uh, First, I'm, I'll just my, put my cards uh, on, on the table. I'm excited about this announcement. Uh, today, the Biden administration is set to announce a pilot program that will allow groups of private American citizens to financially sponsor the resettlement of refugees fleeing war and violence across the world. The initiative, the State Department initiative, which uh, will go by the name Welcome Corps, uh, could uh, mark a significant change in U.S. refugee policy, moving away from uh, just funneling resettlement through nonprofit organizations and uh, expanding that. Now, it's modeled on 
uh, system in Canada. I actually have friends who have uh, sponsored refugees through this system. And uh, I'll just say it's a tremendous opportunity for the church and for local communities of, of believers. So would really encourage you to check out Welcome Corps. Uh, and then obviously at, at a policy and political level, it's a significant it's significant news. And so wanted to flag that for you today. Second item, the New York Times is reporting uh, that the United States is considering proactive support of Ukraine taking offensive action in Crimea, uh, which is uh, the U.S. government has already acknowledged and that uh, Crimea it belongs to Ukraine, but it's Crimea has been occupied by tens of thousands of Russian troops and military bases. Russia has been using the Crimean Peninsula to launch attacks against uh, Ukraine. And there's been an evolving discussion, particularly given the, the show of strength that the Ukraine, uh, the Ukrainian military has showed. There's been growing consideration of whether it might be wise for uh, Ukraine to threaten Russia's position in Crimea. And so that would be a significant development uh, in, in this conflict. And finally, Sister Andre, uh, the world's oldest known person, a French nun, uh, died at 118 uh, years old yesterday. Uh, a news report notes that she lived through two world wars, lived through both the 1918 uh, Spanish flu, the influenza pandemic, and survived COVID-19. Uh, she passed on a Tuesday. Uh, a spokesman at her nursing home said, she kept telling me, I'm not afraid of COVID because I'm not afraid of dying. All right, friends, that's all we have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll be with you for an episode of Where We Are, uh, as always, this weekend. Uh, believe, this isn't final yet, but believe we're going to answer uh, listener questions on this episode. And so on social media or uh, by email through the substack at reclaiminghope.substack.com. Let us know if there's a question you'd like Melissa and I to tackle. Uh, really anything, just about anything is on the table. All right, let's close with prayer. We'll close as we always do with Dallas Willard's rendition of the Lord's Prayer. Dear Father, always near us. May your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge. You have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it.